Hello, everybody, and welcome to our national day celebrating Mother's Day. So this year, Mother's Day is on May 10th. It's always on the second Sunday in May. So it's this upcoming Sunday, May 10th. So we have our article from nationaldaycalendar.com. Uh, so let's jump in. We have an illustration of somebody holding out a present and the card on it says Happy Mother's Day. So if everyone has one or has someone who is like a mother to them. On the second Sunday of May, we honor those women who are our mothers. Whether we shower her with gifts, take her to a fancy dinner, or make her a homemade card, what moms want most is to be surrounded by the love of their family. Knowing the people they love are safe, sound, and healthy is a mom's number one priority. So how do we observe this day? Remember to put mom first on Mother's Day and use hashtag Mother's Day to share on social media. So what's the history of it? Mother's Day has been celebrated around the world since, well, since motherhood. In the United States, Julia Ward Howe inspired the first movement toward a national Mother's Day during the Civil War. Appealing to the public for a Mother's Day for Peace after witnessing the devastation left by war, Howe went on an international crusade. While her efforts never gained formal recognition for an official observance, she was acknowledged posthumously in 1988 for her achievements and her efforts for women's rights. It was in 1905 when Mother's Day was finally introduced successfully by Anna Jarvis, the daughter of Anne Marie Reeves Jarvis, who had followed Howe's campaign and had pursued her own volunteer efforts during the Civil War. Her mother died May 9, 1905, and she missed her greatly. She started a dedicated letter writing campaign to declare an official Mother's Day. Through Andrews Methodist Church in Grafton, West Virginia, the first Mother Day, Mother's Day was observed on May 10, 1908. This day, to honor Anna Jarvis's mother, grew into a national observance until in 1911 when every state participated. Soon it was spreading internationally, and on May 9, 1914, President Woodrow Wilson proclaimed Mother's Day a national holiday to be held on the second Sunday of May. So here in the article, it just lists all the next days of Mother's Day so you can be prepared for the next uh, 10 years of when Mother's Day is so you don't forget. And I wanted to show you guys, it's really simple if you guys are feeling crafty and want to make something to celebrate Mother's Day. Um, again, you don't have to give this to the person that's your mother. If you have somebody in your life that's like a mother to you, um, you can definitely give it to them. A grandma, an aunt, or maybe a close close family friend that's, that's like a mother to you. You can help celebrate their love and everything they've done for you. So uh, this website is called countryliving.com. And uh, it just has, it has 52 easy Mother's Day crafts to make with your kids. Uh, you can just Google, just just look up Mother's Day crafts and there's gonna be tons of ideas. So if you're feeling crafty and you have some materials at home, you can think back to Earth Day and maybe use some recycled things that you have already that you can uh, use to help make a craft or even just a nice card or something. Just, uh, get ready to give somebody a hug or something just to, to help celebrate Mother's Day on May 10th. So happy Mother's, to, uh, happy Mother's Day to all you mothers out there. And um, thanks for doing all that you're doing, especially during this time when it's absolutely crazy right now. So um, thanks for doing everything that you're doing. I hope you have a lovely Mother's Day and I will see you next time for our next national holiday. Bye.